That's what you say to someone when they wake up, right? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you're remembering right, we had just gotten to our second save point, and we were moving out. Now, oh, we found something. Oh, it's shining. Must be important. A maintenance data. Oh yeah, because we're going to the uh, uh, whatever those people are. Would you like to rest? No. Okay, we don't want to lay down. Would you like to rest? No. Yeah, every time you walk by the bed, it does that. Which is annoying. Oh, we got an email! Yay! We get to go talk to the rabbit again. Hooray, hooray. Alright, and this is this, uh, Miyuki Itsumi. Uh, my Japanese is horrible, by the way. I actually don't speak any of it, aside from... Uh, the normal things that us uh, Americans use in our average everyday life, like sushi and so on and so forth. Uh, basically, what this is saying is that she got sent one of those giant red claw doodads. We actually got sent a real one of them. We gotta go get it. P.S. I lost some weight. Because apparently Shion needs to lose weight. She started rail, though. I seriously want to plush with that bunny, though. Anyways. Magnificent plan. What's that girl up to? I find it weird that all of her clothes match. Like, as far as... Like, her jacket, her dress, and her boots all have the exact same color schemes. This way is conveniently blocked off. For some reason. No one's allowed to even walk in here. Don't touch anything! It might throw this entire load if someone presses the wrong switch. Hint, hint, just letting you know, if you push that button, the crane, something bad might happen. That might be useful later on. Yeah, I made the mistake of actually asking, like, no, I know, I don't know what that is. So it turns out the Gnosis are, uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh... Ah, I'm going to say it again. Uh, Final Fantasy, Spirits Within. Here's the map. Of course, we can't go the easy way, where the elevator is on the other side of that friggin' door. So now we've got to wander all the way around, really. Yeah, I actually ended up, uh, later on, coming inside and with my phone and snapping a picture of this map just so that I could have it while I wandered around this stupid place. Because it is not uh, easy to navigate at all. And I don't remember what's going on here. I think I'm just really trying to figure this map out. Because the break in it didn't make any sense to me. Like, if they had just laid this sideways I think I would have got it another segment yay actually I think we already talked about that one yeah this is another glowing button oh it's to open and close the bulkhead doors here's where my son is egging me on I was just gonna walk away and my son was sitting with me, he's like, we gotta push the button now. Yeah, please use caution. <laughs> and now the guard has no air.
Yeah, please use caution near the opening doors. I almost expected it to say, mind the gap! <laughs> the guard is huddling corner. <laughs> and she does not even notice that you push the button. I should have gone and talked to the guard to see if he was freaked out. The Raelians. Raelians? Raelians? I can't remember how to say it. They're going to say it a few million times here in a minute. There we go. Now, from... They're about to explain a whole bunch of stuff that we Hello, you rang? won't understand, but... My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy, too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. Hmm, battle algorithms. Not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. He's rejecting the... Oh, is that what that giant red sign that Let's says rejected see. means? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> it's just her hand moves. <laughs> uh, so apparently the... Reliant... Relate... Raelians? Raelians? Anyways, I still can't say it. Basically, they're engineered soldiers, I guess is how you would say it. And they're designed specifically to fight, but they're trying to teach them some... They have human emotions to a degree, and they're not exactly sure how to deal with it. Do you have any dizziness or anything? No, I am fine. We are combat models. So even our training causes heavy wear and tear. Regular tune-ups like this are necessary. Are you not feeling well? I've been studying fables and proverbs, but I am unable to use them properly. I am always being laughed at. Hmm, but your linguistic center doesn't seem to have any abnormalities. Yeah, so basically they're learning that these things aren't perfect. Which is, uh, you know, I can't imagine creating people for war. I mean, I was a soldier in the army and I was trained, but I can't imagine being created for that purpose. Like, your job is to end other people's life. Oof. So basically, you have to run around and talk to each of these Raelians. Raelians? Real Aeons. Raelians. This pulse becomes rapid, perspiration increases, and I become unable. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder if it's an OS bug. No, 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 no. That's just puberty. I wonder what's wrong. Your brainwaves seem to be chaotic. There's no sign of the Wuglin. I haven't been the same. Slowly lost mental composure. My body has begun to manifest minute spasms. Hmm. They're developing, developing phobias. So the, the genetically engineered peoples well, are becoming human. I've made some adjustments. But please contact 3rd Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. Yeah. I'll be sure to do so. I'll be sure to do so. I'm really impressed. Providing reality and psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor told oh, me. Oh, I'm just making I'm the most of what my help. mentor told me. That was probably Besides, Kevin. I always wanted to work in the third division. Actually, 
I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work. So I don't know what the divisions are. They don't really cover that. There's like first R and D division, third division takes care of the Raelians. I don't know what second division does. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the first division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Yeah, that's nice when your own family. Well, I guess everybody's own family is a little bit that way, where they're like, wow. You're an idiot. How did you get that job? I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Oh, Lieutenant Virgil. Virgil. Didn't Virgil Was Virgil the one that led the guy into hell? Or was it actually Virgil that went into hell? I don't remember. Their stench. What? It reeks. Honey, do you remember? I can't get their right. Virgil led Dante system. into hell, right? You don't remember either? You I think Virgil led Dante into hell. I would have to look for uh Oh, maybe I can go play Devil May Cry. And then I can learn. Yeah, so That's enough. You've got your orders from the lieutenant commander, didn't you? One of the goals You can of learn more about that. Combat support between the eggs and the new model realians. And yet your support support in a battle against them. The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested weapons grade realians. Um, weapons grade realians. Excuse me. But these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? Um, excuse me. You're treating equipment like people? Uh-oh. Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of realians when it was ratified in 4763. Ah, uh, the old what human rights thing. Crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity. I hate this guy, but I actually agree with him. As far as your company's concerned, or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Oh? Then why do you categorize them as weapons grade realians? How much more weapons evidence? Weapons grade do you need plutonium. Whatever you care to call them. Weapons the grade meat. Oh, by the way, for those of you, if any of you ever decide to go into the military or anything like that, okay, when you're, they, we have MREs, meals ready to eat. Virgil, why are you? And the meals ready to eat are fairly good, most of them, except for the ham slice. Never, ever eat the ham slice. It's just, ugh. go for the chili mac, chili mac safe. Um, there's one that's rice. That one's pretty good. But man, ugh, ham slice. No, no, no. Virgil's gonna barf all over. Well, well, for you, you'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he... Is he... A DME addict? <gasps> A DME addict. Dun dun dun. That's right, he is, uh... Uh, addicted to uh, Devil May. Uh, it's a good E word. Emote? No. Devil May. E enlarge? No. Devil May. Error. Devil May error. He's a Devil May. Error. No. Apologies, Ms. Uzuki. Miss Uzuki. Ms. Uzuki. He wasn't always like that. But then something happened. Then something happened. Is he an old acquaintance? 
We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with them since then. It was Milsha. I see. So. Have we mentioned Milsha by now? That's why. No, we haven't. Okay, that. good. I know about that. Again. Anyone planning to join the third division would know. Yeah. Well, I. What happened on Milsha? I'm from yeah. Milsha. Over Macho Grande? No. no. No, I'll never be over Macho Grande. My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. You know, the idea of Second Milsha reminds me of the the pilot episode of Babylon 5. If you've if you've never seen it, one of the after all one of the uh, Ambassador Delin, one of the alien races, asks why Babylon 5? And the guy, the commander. Pardon me, ma'am. Your boobs are beeping. Anyways, so. I love that running in place is like I've got to hurry. I'm getting warmed up. Goofball. Anyways, so um, she asks why Babylon Five, and the commander says, "Well, uh, this happened to Babylon One. This happened to Two. This happened to Three. This happened to four. And then she says, no, 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 but why Babylon 5? If you've had so many problems, why not label it something else? And they basically said, you know, what? Why would this, why would this, uh, matter? And then he says, you know, hey, well, uh, humans... We love to try again. We love to keep going and keep going and keep going. So what are we looking? Starting database service. Gnosis data. Following menus. Keyword data search. Yeah. And I keep getting these emails. And I'm pretty sure that it's like a codex for later games. From the Omega Byte store must mean <sighs> I'm just mesmerized by the rabbit. You will be able to use the UMN database in the near future. Yay! Very perceptive. Oh. keywords that come in in conversations in the database. It's almost like I can reference things. Ooh. I'd... I'm really hoping that uh, we get through the what I'm calling the tutorial phase of this game really soon. Because it's just kind of, I mean, the I knew it's... I had to play through it, then listen to it again, and then do the voiceover for it. At least you guys just have to watch this once. And I'm hoping that fairly soon... Yeah, I'm using the whole targeted keyword thing, but eh. So essentially, uh, fairly soon we're going to have the ability to just do this uh, live. Because we're going to get caught up, and then we're going to do some of these live to where I'm just doing the commentary as we're playing. And my son will probably tag along as well, because he seems to enjoy watching these things. Oh yeah, so of course, like in a, a, a good little game player, I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Now, the, the X and the circle are uh, set to Japanese standards, which is backwards from most of the games here in the U.S., Let's plug in module. So we can go in the database. We can go Gnosis. And there's a little dancing guy. Look at me, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Whoa. I joke, but I actually like this kind of thing that's in a game. Um, 
I like the fact that they can just do this now and have you look at all the assets and have a uh, an actual in story access to it. So that it's kind of like, oh, you know, I actually do have a uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, now here's what I read about DME addiction, which is addiction results from the consumption of realium body tissue. So that means that the, the creepy guy actually tore out realians, grown people, and ate them. Specifically, the brain. Yeah. Yeah, so he just, just he has to constantly consume new uh, tissue to resist withdrawal symptoms. There's no complete cure as of yet. It's just dead. I don't like the way that they set it up to where it's, you know, you can look at number... The planet where the war that came to be known as the Milshin Conflict took place. Milsha is also Xion's birthplace. That was the most useful... Bah. Most of the, the help is not really helpful. And I, if I remember right, I get lost a few times here. So we might be uh, going for a little while. If you don't mind, uh, I'm going to go uh, uh, grab a drink. I'll be back in just a minute. Good, I'm back in time for uh, more email. Anyways, I have a juicy story to share with you. It actually concerns Cosmos. I thought it might get your full and undivided attention. I do like the fact that the emails, at least the ones from uh, Miyuki, actually seem written. Like they're not, hey, if you go to such and such, like there's some babbling in here. When I was pressing Francis, we stuck up to an interesting little conversation. I think you filled me in because I keep quiet, blah, 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 blah. For someone does plan to develop the ultimate weapon befitting Cosmos. One attack will damage the enemy's entire party. We need to farm out the calculation process and blah, 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 blah. Essentially what she's doing is she's asking you to... Participate in something that will link computer powers together. Wonder Twin powers activate. I don't know. But it's... Wogland? <laughs> Seems risky, but it's a little more stimulating that way. Don't you think? <laughs> I just love some of the wording in it. Okay, so we've replied to email. Let's get back to uh, wandering around the ship. Oh, yay! Alright. Go, go. Nope. What am I doing? Why am I in a menu? Ugh. Alright. I get better at... Oh, that's the pause button. Go. Nope. Oh, I'm looking for the other plugins. Because they said there would be a plugin of something. But... That's all I have. 
I easily got confused because it kept telling me like, hey, we're gonna have a plug-in in the in the who's a what's it's and the thingamajig will then uh, dance with the 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 hug of my whopper. And I'm just like, what? What on earth are you talking about? Over here, right here. Dude, this chick knows everybody on the ship. Investigating all the doors of the ship? Yes, please tell me. It's a secret. But I think it has a bug. Create useless corridors. So, apparently, the thing that creates stuff accidentally creates doors that have stuff in them which is the segments so we've discovered segment number seven now what those do why do we care I don't know nope that's the wrong way don't go oh. This is how you know that I didn't edit anything out, because you get to watch me do really stupid stuff like that, like go inside a door and right back outside the door. Alright. Turn. Nope. 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 I am just not good at this game. There we go. Nope. Duh. Okay, so here's here's where the the weird part is that if you were a lady wandering around through hallways and two soldiers ask you to play tag, run. Run screaming. Because that's not going to end well. And I know that this is a tutorial and it's teaching you... Ready, here we go! You gotta do better than that. That was disappointing. At this rate, you won't be able to outrun the gnosis if they attack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Miss Vector. Her name's not Vector. What? Oh. Well, this took me a while to figure out. Because I wasn't reading the text. Because, you know, reading... Ah. Reading's hard. It's like math. Oh, there's a little blue light on my phone. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check my phone while we're watching me be an idiot here. Alright, don't do blinking lights. Okay. Well, that works out. So essentially I got kind of bored with my iPhone and picked up a sidekick from 2008. Blinking lights are awesome. And essentially uh, it doesn't do internet and it doesn't do uh, a bunch of other stuff that it used to do. But it's pretty fun for texting and it's got the, the little roll bar thing it's cool because it blinks green when nothing's going on so if it's just chilling there it blinks a little the green light blinks and then when you get a text it blinks blue and when the battery's low it blinks red which seems kind of weird but it actually looks kind of cool so now I've finally figured out what I'm supposed to be doing is I'm supposed to run away run around here get them stuck on all the geometry 
and hopefully make it out to the front. I don't remember if I make it this time or if I have to do it one more time. No, I actually made it this time. Not bad, not bad at all. With those moves, you'll be good even when things get hot. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. So, of course, I'm going to wander over here. All the stuff got taken out of the hangars. And is now out there in the hallway. Because stuff in the hallway is awesome. Alright. And I think we're actually nearing one of the points. I come back here a little while later. Ticks me off. We need to blah 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 blah. All right. Soldiers don't complain that much. As long as we're fed, we have bullets. We we don't really complain, or at least everybody I know didn't. We complained about things that really didn't matter. At no point did we actually complain about the mission. Because the mission, you can't really change. You're just doing whatever the commander tells you to do. Most of the time. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I don't know. I want to see what would happen if someone actually tried to run like that. Oh, ladder. Oh, your vector personnel. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's right. Work for the ve company vector. That's why those guys were calling me Miss Vector. So there's the airlock. Don't open it. It will vent the room. Once again, just so you know. So now we're in D05. People, people. Discovered segment address number 16. Don't know what that has to do with anything. Sheesh, look at those two. They've been making out in there the whole time. Get a room for crying out loud. Alright, if you've been standing outside of a room watching people make out for a really long time, you are the creepy one. Just throwing that out there. Oh, third save point. We have now saved three times in this game, and we are... How far are we in? Hour and 35? Really, is that as far as we are? Oh, no, we're two hours and eight minutes. Okay, so... A save every 45 minutes is what we're looking like. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's see if we can actually open the door. Nope. Can't. Just, just, just go. Go out the door. Ugh. Oh, we didn't go out and go out of their way to come into this room. Because, dude, you were making out in there. Thought you would share. So apparently, the holograms are the best quality. When do we get holograms? I want, I, I want what I was promised. I want the holograms, I want the flying cars, I want the jetpacks. You know what? You know what? Don't give me flying cars. Give me a jetpack. You give me a jetpack, you can stuff the flying car. I really don't care anymore. Just give me the oh, just to be able to jetpack to work. That'd be so amazing. I'm still a little confused as to whether the jetpacks are actually real, because I know that 
There's a switch. Press it. Sure. Oh, I close the door. Uh, I, saw, I remember Mythbusters actually did an episode where they tried to build one, and they actually went to someone that actually showed them the working... <laughs> Does the button talk to you? It talks to me. Okay. Weirdo. Go to the bridge? Yes, no. Yes. But anyways, I can't remember uh, if... Like, they did, they showed it, and they said that it actually worked. They never actually showed it working, though. So I don't know... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Because I, for one, would love to learn how to fly it. I'm clipping real bad, I know that, by the way. If anybody's listening to that that closely, which I doubt you are. That guy's just a total jerk. Sweet, another cutscene. We haven't had one of those in, what, ten minutes? I see. I understand the basic specs. I so, understand the basic the specs. Field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can not provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable, and... Aren't you just making Aren't excuses? You? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. Because outside you can't breathe? This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units eggs? that go with them aren't available until eggs. later. What would happen if, by some chance, we were attacked by those things? I don't think we would all die. Describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. You're this on a is warship. A field. Cosmos was supposed to be our front line. So love can bloom here. You're telling okay. Us it hasn't even woken love can bloom on a battlefield. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you? Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time. You know, earlier the interruption Just lines like weren't right. working, but I Besides, gotta hand it to these guys. They're, they're one step pretty spot on. Actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation. Completed. I don't understand the M's on their chest though, thing. or the two V's. Don't we? Of Maybe I'm not, not missing something. But I believe we. But I believe oh, I can fly. Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. This is dealer or his pimp. I wonder what's wrong. What do you think? Who? Which know. one's calling him? Well, never mind. That's right. Never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. I'm sorry we failed. Well, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down. He is the most understanding boss in the world. I know no boss would be like, oh, no, I know you're behind, and I know that we're, you know, we're doing bad, but... Hey, do, take the rest of the day off. But, weirdly enough, that is how uh, this part ends. So, we'll see you again in part five. As always, play on!